So do you feel like you've tried everything when it comes to overcoming social anxiety, but it only seems to be getting worse? So if that sounds like you, stick around because today I'm going to give you three powerful insights to break free from social anxiety for good. So don't lose hope. Let's go. All right, so let's get started. Insight number one is you are not just your thoughts, okay? When you go into these socially anxious situations, you will notice you have thoughts. I'm going to be humiliated. It's not safe. I got to get out of here. These thoughts are just the tip of the iceberg and every thought is linked to a feeling in the body. Okay. So these are only the tip of the iceberg and you cannot solve social anxiety at the intellectual or the cognitive level. And so the key is to stop examining your thoughts with even more thoughts. Don't be so intellectual about social anxiety. You don't think your way out of social anxiety. And if you've been struggling for a while, you know that it is intense. It, you get too panicked and that is why you don't think your way through social anxiety you feel your way through social anxiety and so again you are not just your thoughts every thought is linked to a feeling in the body when you deal with the feelings and remove those feelings the thoughts will disappear which brings me to my second point these feelings in the body they set off your survival mechanism insight number two is get to the root of your social anxiety your survival mechanism we call it the fight or flight system and it becomes overactive when you have social anxiety this fight or flight system what is doing to you internally it's pumping stress hormones cortisol adrenaline into your blood it is shutting down your digestion it is shutting down your hearing and it's preparing you for a life-threatening circumstance it is not in the interest of you speaking. It is not in the interest of you connecting with anybody. It just wants you to survive and flee from danger. Now, the more intense this survival mechanism gets, the more intense this fight or flight system gets, the more ruminating and racing your thoughts will be, right? The more intense it'll be. And also it can even get worse case like used to happen to me. You know, my heart's pounding my i'm trembling i'm shaking i'm feeling dizzy disoriented and my mind's going completely blank and i'm suffering from complete memory loss in those moments in those socially anxious moments like in work meetings and in on one-on-one -on -one conversations so what you can do is i've i wrote an ebook you can download it i'll link it below the video and you can go through that because it's going to be very informative for you to read it goes into my story but more importantly it's going to show you how your mind's been programmed in a way to keep that fight or flight mechanism going off to keep it going to keep it intense to keep those thoughts racing and it's going to be very very helpful for you because you'll have clarity around your social anxiety and it'll help you understand it a lot better. So you can download the book, read it for free and really have that roadmap of your mind and get the clarity that you need. And the last insight, insight number three is you need to reverse engineer your social anxiety. This is how you actually break free for good. You, you lose the symptoms, you stop fearing people and don't buy into the hype that you can only cope and manage, okay? You can actually reverse engineer this so that it's non-existent. I'm gonna lay this out for you and how this is done. When you go into a social situation or a work meeting and you feel completely panicked, your social anxiety is going off. What is happening? You are taking in that situation through your five senses, through your eyes, through your hearing, through your nervous system, and it's getting processed by the middle of your brain, the amygdala. This is the part of the brain that actually fires off that fight or flight system that we were just talking about. And when the fight or flight system fires off, it manifests in the body as your physical symptoms, your mind going blank, your heart racing, the butterflies in the stomach, the lump in your throat. And so again, the sequence is you take in that situation through your five senses, your amygdala processes and senses danger, and then it fires off your physical symptoms and the panic, the nervousness, the anxiety. And what you have to do is you have to reverse engineer from this side. You cannot do it with your thoughts. It's not gonna be strong enough. And so on this side, you really wanna start sensing 
into where the social anxiety is manifesting in the body. Pay attention, is it, is, do you get tightness in the belly? Uh, do you get a lump in your throat? Do you get butterflies in the stomach? Where is it manifesting in the body? Where is the energy in the body? This is absolutely crucial because as you remember, I said you don't think your way out of social anxiety. And to get out of your head, you have to move down into the experience in the body. And how do you do that? Is you start to become very aware of these physical sensations that are happening in the body. And that is your way out. And that is how you start to overcome this social anxiety. This is how you start the process. But eventually, you do not want the lump in your throat. You don't want the, the tightness in the chest and the butterflies and the, the feeling like you can't breathe, your mind's going blank. You don't want those symptoms to be there at all. And that's when you're fully free from this thing. So if that's something you're interested in, check out the free training. I'm gonna link it below the video, okay? Go through the free training. It's gonna show you how to remove that fight or flight system from going off permanently. So how to move from just managing and coping the social anxiety to being fully free from it. It's like that alarm, that fight or flight system that's overactive and keeps going off. You take out the batteries out of it and it's just there, but it's non-active. So be sure to check out the free training. It's gonna be extremely valuable and insightful for you. Now, if you need a little bit more support, what you can do is join my private Facebook group and we're over a thousand members now. It is a group where people are coming in, they're learning about this social anxiety, they're sharing, they're letting go of all the secrecy and the shame around this condition, and they're really connecting in there. So it'd be really good if you came in, joined, and connected with other people because you're gonna create a support system where people actually get what you're going through. People are gonna actually realize what this whole social anxiety thing is, and they're gonna have shared experiences and stories that you guys can relate with. And so it's gonna release a lot of pressure off of your shoulders, and we'd love to have you in there. I'm in there as well. You can ask me questions, have my guidance along the way. And so join up, I'll see you on the inside. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. All right, peace.